Okay, so uh, today's feature lamp is this uh, lamp I got from my local collector guy who's collecting and he thought he'd thin out what he had and I had no idea what it was but I knew it was a European lamp uh, just by the uh, the burner shape on it. It's a Matador uh, 20 line. It says it right on the bottom. Anyway, so he had this lamp on the local Kijiji and uh, I bought a few things out before it. So I made him an offer, which is pretty close to what he was asking. And I uh, took a gamble on it. I saw someone, another video on the internet where a guy had one of these burners and he says they really work well. And so I thought I would uh, get one. So anyway, I buy this off him and I get it home and the burner was all gummed up. So I pulled the wick out, cleaned the burner, ordered a new wick for it. And in the cleaning process, um, you can see the emblem on it. This is Eric and Gratz. And I managed to find their catalog online in Germany. This is from 1932. And there's the burner right there, the Matador 20 line. And if we go over a couple more pages, right down there at the bottom, I'm going to make it a little bigger, the 1550, that's this lamp. So uh, to my knowledge, this is the original finish on this lamp. Uh, it's got like a satin brass finish, but the burner was all uh, uh, kerosene fouled and black. So I had to clean it and polish it just in the process couple interesting things about this lamp is the uh, the shade appears to be original. It's this mint green shade and they run like a nine inch fitter. So definitely not North American spec, which was around 10 in the 1930s. So this is probably the, one of the most rarest lamps that I, I've never seen one of these before. I can't even find this on the internet. I mean, other than this catalog that I found uh, on, uh, on a German website, uh, which has the 1932 catalog. So this is a pre-war uh, German lamp. I don't think a lot of these things really exist uh, in this day and age. Um, I, I would assume that, uh, you know, a lot of these were probably recycled during the war. Uh, you know, these were, this must have been imported into North America or Canada uh, and sold by a retailer. Um, and, you know, most likely to a farm because um, most of the cities had electricity in the pre 40s. But, you know, as the farms were electrified, uh, you know, lamps were retired and I'd be betting you most of these were, were scrapped and uh, turned into, you know, shells and quite literally, who knows, could have went back to Germany in the shape of a shell. I mean, I hate to say it, but that's probably the truth. So, I mean, here's a, you know, Aladdin number no. seven produced, uh, you know, during World War One era. Uh, these are real common uh, in, in the U.S., not in Canada. Um, they made, you know, tens of thousands of these. They probably made thousands of these in 1932 or, or in this area when this was built. But these weren't really collectible. People just didn't, you know, not made in America, not, uh, you know, it, there wasn't a whole lot of love for these type of lamps. But anyway, this is a survivor. It's all original. Uh, I only thing I don't think it's original is a chimney. It appears to be about an inch too short. So I'm, I'm looking for the right chimney and I'll find it. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoy this lamp. And if you see one of these on the internet, boy, you let me know. Um, I have not seen one of these and I've been looking for six months, maybe since I've had this lamp. I have not seen another one like it. So anyway, this is probably the last of them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a nice day.